Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jennifer's Slayer. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm so sorry I haven't been on here. It's been a minute, I know. Uh, it's just been crazy. Life has just gotten really crazy lately for me. And so I haven't been able to do a video, but I'm I'm back, kind of. Um, I am going to be here and then I might be, you know, doing other things as well. So... Um, but today I'm going to go through all of the stuff that's been happening in my life. So it's going to be a catch up with Jennifer's Lair type of video. Plus we're going to do some hauls. We've got an earthbound haul and a black pearl moon haul. So those are the things that we're going to get into today. And also I'm going to show you a product that my friend is doing real quick. Um, she's going to start an Etsy shop and I love to support my friends because if they have talents and whatnot, you bet I'm going to support them. So I'm going to show you guys some of the thing, just a couple things that she's doing. And then we're going to, I'm going to do a full video when I have all of her information. She has yet to set up her Etsy shop and stuff like that. So it's going to be kind of like, you know, just kind of a little bit of a review and stuff. And if you guys like it, you guys can, um, you know, look up her shop later. I'll do a whole video on all of her stuff and all the information then. Because right now she's just starting out and she's still putting in the information uh, for herself. So I don't have all the info. So just to let you know. Um, I wrote a list because I wanted to make sure that I could, um, do this catch-up video the right way. So I'm going to go off of what I have written down on my list because a lot has happened and there is so much to go through. Um, the room tour, I will get on the room tour soon-ish, I'm hoping, we are redoing the rest of our roof, which I'll get into in a minute. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I haven't been doing videos because we had a little mishap and stuff and I'll get into that in a little bit later, but I'm just letting you guys know that I'm hoping to have that video for you. The, the tour, the new Jennifer Slayer tour, we're in here now recording. This is just kind of like a little sneak peek of some of what's to come. <laughs> um, it's just been crazy here. I have, uh, you guys haven't really seen me since probably February, like the second week of February. I think I actually did a video on February 14th or it could have been the February 13th. I can't remember, but we finished painting and I showed you this room and everything. Um, and now I get to show you the decor part um, in one of the videos. Now I'm still working on some of the decor. Some of it just has taken a little bit longer to come in. I've ordered it, but it just hasn't shown up yet. And I want to make sure that I have the whole room finished before I show you guys. So, um, it's on its way. I haven't forgotten. I'm going to do a room tour as soon as possible because we did remodel this room. And if you haven't seen like the videos go back and watch those because they are very awesome like it was it was it was a project let me tell you we went over budget on it and stuff but anyways that's for like i'll talk about a lot of that stuff in the neck in one of the videos today i'm gonna do a haul today like i said before and i want to catch you up on some of the th reasons why i've been gone for so long uh one of the reasons is I'm really behind on everything. Like, I'm just getting behind. I got totally swamped on all this. Um, also, okay, so we had a problem, <laughs> a big problem. In March, my husband decided to go and we were going to do some of our roof because we wanted to refinance the house and then get the rest of the roof done. So we hired someone, um, but I don't, think he checked into the reviews of this person sadly you always need to look into the reviews of the person just take it from us because we just went through a freaking nightmare um we sat here uh it was like march i can't remember it was probably maybe the beginning of march or sometime in march 
this guy came over and he was talking like he could do the roof for us and everything. And so he started ripping off the roof and then he kept calling me and, you know, he was basically saying, because we have a really steep roof. So, I mean, we really do have a steep roof. I believe it's a 12 or it could be, it could be even more of, of the scale of, of really steep roofs. Anyways, this guy comes over. We have the, we're under the impression that he is going to like, you know, um, do our rough. Okay. So I'm going to get comfortable and cozy. I'm going to sit back a little bit here. I'm back from the camera. I'm going to pull you guys closer. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so he decides that he's going to do our rough and we're like, okay, cool. You know, like we got all the shingles and everything that we needed. And then all of a sudden he decides that he's just going to walk away. I had to talk to him into trying to do it like three times, three to four different times. I had to convince him to do, to keep working on it. Um, but anyways, he walks away from the roof, leaves it to, to the elements left us. I had to ask him to put a tarp on the roof and the tarp wasn't even like, it was just a small tarp. It wasn't going to stop any water from getting into our house or damage or anything like that. It was a freaking nightmare. So anyways, then I, so I'm kind of stuck in a rock and a hard place here. So I, you know, we called some people in town. They came and they couldn't, they couldn't finish the roof because they don't really do roofing stuff. So they were, they put on the tarps for us. Well, the winds came. We had like a lot of winds, like there was 60 to 70 miles hour winds here. And so the wind was taking off the tarp of the roof. And so it was exposing it because it's like a bare roof without shingles. There was wood exposed to the elements and everything like that. Because the guy just kind of walked off and, you know, sent us the message of, you know, F you, basically, which wasn't cool. Um, but anyways, we got, you know, two people that, you know, helped us put the tarps on. They They weren't sticking. So... One of my friends, he works in construction, so I got him to come over and help. And he was such an awesome helper. Like, he he did a great job um, helping us get the roof, you know, get the tarps on. And he did it not but once but twice. Because the one, the one time he was over, the wind wasn't really blowing that much, so we missed a spot. And it was my fault as well. Because I didn't, I wasn't, you know, like we were chatting and catching up because we're old friends. And we were just chatting it up, you know, and, and reminiscing. And he was talking about his family and I was talking about, you know, what's been going on in my life and everything. So, and it was a nice visit and stuff, even though he was working, whatever. And yes, I paid my friend because, you know what, my friends deserve, especially when they're talented as he is. And what he does, he deserved to get paid. So we paid, we paid him and whatnot. And he came back not but once but twice. And he's been checking in on the roof. You know, he was checking in with me almost daily on the roof and everything, which was great. I really appreciate it because that's what good friends do for, you know. And so he is he's awesome. He came and he didn't even really ask for much. He didn't want much, but we paid him like a little bit extra, you know? So, um, but we did pay him to do the, the tarps and everything. And he kept us dry. Thank God. I mean, there was days on the radar that it was going to rain and there was no tarp on the guy that did this to us, whatever, left us with nothing. He was not even going to put a tarp up there. I asked him, I said, well, can you put a tarp at least on the roof or, or whatever so the water doesn't get in? And they did, but like they put a small tarp. It wasn't even going to, it didn't even hold the area. Where the area was or whatever was huge. And they left a lot of it bare to the elements. There was, I mean, it wasn't even going to hold 
for any rain or snow to get in. Because at that point in time, we were still getting rain. We were still getting snow and everything. And I lost a lot of sleep over it. Like, I was not sleeping. I was crying. I was having panic attacks. I was, like, anxious as hell. And it's all because, like, they decided that they didn't, they weren't going to do it. I guess this guy, he bids on jobs all the time because his son said on Facebook. He bids on jobs all the time like this. And then he, you know, he, and then he can't finish them. So he's highly confident. And then all of a sudden he can't finish what he started. He just kind of walks away. That was his answer is just to walk away from the job and leave us basically screwed. Excuse my language, but really, I mean, it really made me angry at that point in time. I am so glad that the roofing company that we went with, uh, Young Construction, they did a wonderful job. They came, they they put us on our on the list of places to do, you know, to get done quickly because they came out and they saw it and we had other people other construction air place people come out and give us a quote and whatever but they never called us back or anything like I was calling them and calling them and calling them and leaving messages and they would just never get back to us so there's that um I'm happy with young construction they're coming back that's why I don't know if I can do, I wanted to do the video at the end of June, but I have no clue on what's going to happen because Young Construction is coming out again. Uh, their workers, while they were here doing our roof, they said that there was some damage because there was some high winds in between my friend putting the tarps up and then them coming in. So they noticed that we had some damage on the top of our roof. So we uh got our insurance company to come on out and they climbed the roof and they saw that our um shingles were recalled like a long time ago they should have been off our house uh they're i think they call them three tipped or something like that anyways they were they were basically no good shingles they were crap shingles and they were recalled so they're not supposed to be on the house. So our insurance company wrote us a check out. And so now we're going to finish the rest of the roof. Um, and it might be getting done at the end of June. That's what they're talking. Or it could be like in the middle of June. So I don't know like when they're going to do it. And I don't know how many days it's going to take. For them to do the part of the roof that they did. They did over the top of my room. My room wasn't exposed though. But we wanted to just do the whole southern half so that, you know, um, we would have that at least done. So they did half of my room, this room here, and they're going to, and my old room, the purple room that I recorded in before Jennifer's old layer, that was the room that was completely exposed. So I dodged a bullet. I already had all my stuff moved in here, so um, I had a little bit left over to move in here, but it wasn't anything like, you know, uh, that was really of importance, and I actually had it in tubs, so it was kind of waterproofed if any water had gotten in there, but anyways... Um, yeah, so that's kind of the nightmare I was dealing with. Like, every day I was hoping it wasn't going to rain and it wasn't going to snow. And because we had just a little tarp over for at least a couple days. It was probably about a week, I think. A week of hell. And then the other guys came and they did the tarp. And then the tarp blew off because we had, you know, some high winds coming through. This this state here has got a lot of high winds lately, and it's just been crazy here. Like, the winds have just been really horrible. So, I mean, yeah, I, I'm just happy that, you know, we got through. We didn't have water damage that we know of, and so I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, uh, my friend, I was lucky enough to, and fortunate to have a friend that works in construction and knew exactly what we needed to do. And he did a great job and he sacrificed Easter to come and, uh, 
roof our house quick because the following day it was going to rain. And, yep, it, it rained like crazy. And we were so fortunate to have him come and do it. And then the week, I think it was the week afterwards, that's when they did the shingles and the roofing and everything. They did a really great job. And we're getting gutters from them, and we're going to get the rest of our roof done in June here. So that's kind of why I'm like, I don't know when I will be um, making the video for, for, um, for when, you know, uh, for my room tour, because... I'm not going to make it when there's hammering and all kinds of stuff going on. I was um, I was also asked to take down a lot of my stuff in my room because of the hammering and stuff. We didn't want anything falling on the floor and breaking or knocking, knocking stuff off. So I've been removing things that I hung up prior and then putting them back up. So it's kind of been that kind of a a show and now punky's on my lap you're gonna see a little ear there hi punky punky wants to say hi i guess do you want to say hi to the people are you purring do you want to come in and sleep with me are you going to take a nap are you going to be my co-host <laughs> so many questions for her she's still standing on my lap she wants attention um and oh there she is. Oh, you're going to lay with me, are you, on camera? Okay. You can lay like this. She likes to take naps on me like this, like a little baby. I can hold her, right? She's purring like crazy, right? <laughs> I love my cats. I am a cat lady for sure. And I really don't care. She's going <laughs> to... Okay. You can lay there. You can steal the show. I give you kisses. Okay, so that's kind of like where I was in March. The whole March thing was just crazy. And Young Construction couldn't help us out until the end of the month because their people came back to work because they were off for the winter time. So they were off until the end of, I think it was like the third week of March or something, and then they were coming back. Are you looking at the list? Are you checking it out? I've got a list and she's just staring at it. Are you not going to let me forget anything? She's a good co-host, aren't you, Punky? Um, let's see. Okay, so another thing that happened during the time of our roofing incident, because that wasn't cheap either to pay for, then our um my husband's vehicle started going to hell so he had to put in like a brand new sensor that senses everything for his car to even turn on and run so that was a hefty bill and he sent his part out and the guy was going to program it for him or something like the gm place or something and they were taking forever or something happened with the part. So they weren't sending it out. And they were supposed to get it back to him in like three to four days, I think it was. But he didn't even get that part back until like three weeks later or something. So he was driving my car. Well, then my car started acting up. And I had problems with my car because my coils went. Um, uh, it's a piece that kind of looks like it's got like four prongs and it was it was in the it goes into the engine of course and the coils in the engine and it started overheating because it wasn't it it broke off inside the piece so my car wasn't the ignition wasn't working as well as it should have been so um my husband drove that to work one day and it started overheating and then um, it kind of melted the part. And the part, when we went to, well, good old YouTube videos, we actually ordered the part and we put it in and now it works just fine. So that that's that. So, I mean, having two vehicles and you only have two vehicles and I don't really go there. I don't really go anywhere very much. So I'm like a homebody. So I kind of was... I stay at home anyways. And so, um, 
that was a big problem for me, for sure. Punky's just loving this attention. She's purring. <laughs> um, anyways, that was like such a pain in the ass to get all that fixed. Uh, excuse my language. Um, and then we, so we repaired both vehicles. That wasn't cheap. The roof was definitely not cheap. Because the guy that was supposed to do it, he was supposed to, um, punky, <laughs> he was supposed to, uh, fix it for cheaper than what was going on. And so, okay, you're back. Okay, you're back. I love you too, honey. I love you too. You're my sweetness. Okay, so then, after that was done, then, oh, <laughs> she walks away like a baby. She does this a lot to me. Oh, you just love your mom. I love you too, honey. I love you too. You're my sweetness. Anyways, so then after that happened, then I was like, I had to clean up everything because I had to take off all of the, um, all this stuff off the walls because, you know, when they came to fix the roof, they came to fix like a big patch of it. So over our bedroom, uh, they were working and then they were working over this room and then they were working over the purple room and uh, the bathroom and the hallway so I had to take down a lot of stuff off the wall and then so I had to hang that up and and just to get everything cleaned up it was just it was it was a mess for sure and I still have that to look forward to when they're doing um over the living room um and then the uh, the rest of the house which we're going to be doing at in the middle or at the end of June, I'm thinking that's going to take place. Um, and then <laughs> this is going to be the big one. Okay, so between all of this stuff, we're having kittens happen in our garage. Okay, let me tell you. Uh, it started out with one stray. Her name is Renee. I didn't name her. The people across the street love her as well. So they were feeding Renee and Renee has a boyfriend because Renee is a stray. We don't know how she got here. She just started showing up here and we didn't even feed her or anything, but she was showing up at our house and we have no male cats. We only have female cats. So there was no reason or rhyme that she was showing up here. So we hadn't even put out any water. We hadn't put in any food out. And she was just showing up. And so all of a sudden we decided we were going to feed her and um, and stuff because we felt bad for her. Because we're cat lovers in this house, as if you haven't noticed. If you're new to my channel, I have four cats and I love them and I'm... And I and they love me, and that's the way it is. And if you come over to my house, well, you're gonna get fur on you. So, because you know these cats, it's you know, I clean up as best I can. We actually got a brand new Dyson uh, vacuum cleaner, so I'm hoping that that will work. And it's a pet one, so I'm excited to see if that will help with a lot of the hair. Um, but anyways, let's get back to the stray things. Um, but we do have a stray and her name was Renee or her name is Renee and she is such a sweet cat. I mean, I can pet her and everything. So the goal is to get her fixed, right? We were going to spend our own money because this town does not have a TNR program, which stands for trap, a um, trap, neuter, and release. <laughs> Punky, you're being cute. Oh, she took my hands. <laughs> Punky, you're sweet. Oh, Punky, no biting. She likes to bite too, you know, all like all cats. She doesn't. Come here. Come here, honey. She doesn't. She some. She likes to bite, but she doesn't bite hard. Anyways, because, you know, when you get when you pet them too much, you know how they like to bite. But that's just the way she is. And I love her anyway. I don't really care. So, she didn't hurt me. Anyways, she I don't think she'd ever hurt me. Because she's a sweet girl. Aren't you? You're a sweet girl. 
You're a sweet girl. Anyways, um, what was what's going on? I'll let you go. If you want to go up there, you can go up there. Just don't play with the plant. And by the way, my plants are fake because of cats. Because I cannot have real plants with cats because some of those plants are deadly for cats. They're poisonous. So um, I don't want to risk my cat's lives over having plants in the house. I have a lot of plants outside. Maybe we'll go out to my garden because I have a lily garden part. And I also have a... Um, and I'm actually planted some irises this year and some other things. And I'm wondering what she's going to do. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. You don't need to be playing with the plant. She doesn't, she barely plays. Like, no, you're not going to go down there because you're going to play with wires. And that's not a good situation for you. I don't want you to get hurt, honey. Okay? Good job. Good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. I don't like them playing with wires. They like to go behind my t my couch and play with wires all the time. Anyways, what happens is the um we're gonna get back to the TNR. The TNR is a very important program. A lot of these towns around me don't even have it. Don't even have any uh cat places. Uh, you know, like even even like you know, for pet shelters. We have Humane Society from uh, Mason City, but it's like we live in, we don't live in the right county, so they don't even try to help us. And they're like, yeah, you can take, you know, this stray cat two hours away. I'm not going to take a stray cat two hours away having them have a panic attack in my car. I mean, they're a stray. And so, um, you know, I, I'm glad I... I found someone to help me with uh, some things. And then I found another person to help me with the rest of the things. So I'm I'm happy about this. One of the girls that is in our area is going to be trying to start something for a cat rescue. Um, and she'll probably start it for dogs too as well because she did rescue a few dogs. Um, but I can't stress enough that these, you know, people in town here, they just think, oh, just register your pets. How is that going to stop the reproduction of of uh, strays? Because not everybody's going to, you know, we you can't get in trouble for re not registering your pet in this town. As far as I know, there's no um, tickets or anything like that that can be issued for not registering your pets. So, um, there's that. And another thing is I want to know exactly where the money is going for this registration because it's $20 per pet. So for our household is like around $60 and it's a one-time fee. But, uh, at the same time, it's like, where is that money going towards? Um, and that does not stop the strays in this town. We've got a bunch of strays here. And, um, so I want everyone to know that we are not going to, uh, we're, we're catching and releasing them back to where they belong, but there's also going to be some that are going to be adopted out because we have little kittens now. Um, Renee ended up having a, a litter of five and I've gotten really close to the five. So we're going to get all of them fixed. No, 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 honey. Come on. Come on back down now. I don't want you playing up there because you're going to play with wires. And Mama doesn't want you to play with the wires because you're going to get hurt. I don't want her playing with wires. That's just not a good situation for her. So we're, I'm trying to keep her down. <laughs> right? Right, Punky? Yeah. Punky the monkey. I call her Punky Monkey. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. Anyways, um... I can't stress enough about the TNR program. They're, they're, uh, you know, they're the trap, neuter, and release program. So what they do is they trap the cats, they take them to get them spayed or neutered, and then they'll re they'll release them back wherever. But, um, I'm working with other programs where they're trying to help me find homes for all these cats. 
Um, but we are going to keep the original six because we do have a, we have the original six and then, um, some of them have had babies. So, oh, Punky, she's laying her head on me. See, ow, Punky, <laughs> Punky monkey. You're so cute. You're so cute with your love bites. I love you. I love you. You're so sweet. Mwah. She's so sweet. Anyways, you're a good distraction. You're a good co-host. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it's, I can't, I want them to get something in this town because we have nothing. We have nothing for stray cats or for, you know, finding homes. We don't have any shelters near us. All the shelters, they tell me they're full on, on near us. And I have been told that, you know, where I live, in the state that I live, we don't have a whole lot of resources to help people out. And that's sad because these animals suffer because, you know, we don't have the resources. So it's important to, like, you know, support anyone and everyone that comes through. And now I've got a charm. <laughs> Hi, Charmy. What are you doing? Uh-oh. No fighting, girls. Not on camera, please. I don't want you guys to fight. The, uh, those two do not get along. They're already fighting. No, no. Come on. You gonna get down, Charmy? Now Charmy's like, yep. Okay, Charm. You need to get down now, sweetheart. Come on, baby. I don't want her breaking something. I've got something breakable where she's standing. I have a table next to me here or whatever, so with uh, some stuff on it. Anyways, um, I can't stress enough about this catch and neuter program and release because it, it we need to get these animals under control. And in our town, there's nobody to help. There's nothing except for one of the girls is trying to start something. And she went to city council and she's been through two meetings so far. And they basically, I don't know what, you know, I don't know if she's going to get funded or not. But I'm hoping that they will do something in this town for the animals. Because this whole register your animal thing, um, it's just not a good situation. Like, Charm, get out of there, please. She, she, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have to get up, I have to get up. Because, excuse me. Because she is going to play with the with the cords. No, you cannot play with cords. You're going to get electrocuted, and that's not good. I do not want you playing with cords. Okay, I'm back. Well, now they're chasing each other. Hey, girls. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on, you're going to have to stop chasing each other, please. Be nice to each other, like I always say. Hi, Mooney, you're being nice. So is Miss Raven. She's up in the cat tree. Punky and uh, Mooney are going at after each other, and I had to put an end to it. So I'm sorry about that interruption. <sighs> and now my camera moved. There we go. Anyways, um... What I'm saying about the catch and uh, the TNR trap release and or trap and neuter spay and release program is we need one around here. We also need a pet shelter to take the pets to to get them homes because they shouldn't have to suffer just because somebody drops them off in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, people are like, well, just don't feed them. They won't come around. Uh, Renee just came around and it, we didn't feed her at first. So it's like, they're here no matter what. No matter what. They're going to either go through your garbage or you can feed them. Which one would you rather do? And plus, they're really good with pest control. Because, uh, oh boy. Uh, hang on a second. She's trying to get behind my couch to eat. Come on. <laughs> Every time I get up, she knows I'm after her. She knows that I'm going to take her away from there because um, she's trying to get at the wires. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. I dropped my ring. 
not a good situation. Okay, anyways, but cats have been reproducing and I'm trying to trap and, and get them re-released back to where they were. So I'm trying to do that, but I've been not very successful in doing it. I just feel so bad for them to be in the trap or whatever because the traps that we have, they're like really small and narrow things. So I have, we have found someone, thank you to the Humane Society of Freeborn County, Albert Lee. They are going to work with me on, um, on catching and releasing. No, you're not going to go in there, honey. Come on. They're going to work with uh, me and help me with the... They actually gave me a uh, person to help with. Um, and there's another girl in town. She's just starting out and she's trying to trap them. And we, we've been working together trying to figure out a way to do it and everything. But um, she's trying to learn and she's, she's doing a good job. She actually took two of my kittens in this last week blue uh a, a stray this one this particular stray is like acts just like a stray some of them i can get close to and some of them are just you know they they see me in the room they see me feeding and watering or whatever and they're fine with me then but if i try to get too close they don't like it well anyways two of her babies she didn't bond with them so she so I had to, I, I saw that they were basically almost dead when I found them. They were so cold and everything, and they were off from the other kittens that she had. So I took, though, I called my friend who has, I know she had a nursing cat. So that's like the very, that's the best thing you can do. If you see any kittens that have had, that need milk, because they need to eat every two hours. They can only go 12 hours, a total of 12, 12 hours without eating, uh, nursing from their mother. They're supposed to, but they're supposed to eat every two hours, but they can go 12 hours without it. And then that's it. So, um, I, I knew that it was you know, they looked almost lifeless. They were, they looked pretty bad. I cried. Trust me. I cried really hard and I was so upset. I called my friend right away and I had her come out with her husband and she, I, cause I knew she had a cat that was nursing and this cat was a surrogate mother for other kittens. They found, I think it was a veterinarian clinic that was near here. They found one in the garbage, like a little kitten in the garbage. People like that make me sick, okay? I don't know if it was like just a stray that got in the garbage or did someone throw it in there. Because if someone threw it in there, how heartless and cruel that, you know, and what an asshole they are. Because that's not right. You don't do that to animals. You don't hurt animals. Animals don't do anything to you. I can't stress that enough. I am an animal lover. I'm a cat lover. I, if there's an animal in trouble, you bet I'm going to try to help it before even dealing, you know. And yeah, people, you know, some people are like, well, your your money could be, you know, you could be, you could have so much more money in your wallet and da, 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 da. You know what? To those people, there's a big you know what. To, to those people right now because guess why because then you know what my pocket would be full of money but my heart would be empty so don't even get me started with that I would never trade my cra my cats for a million dollars because they are they keep me going like every day I I just love my cats I'm a cat person I'm always gonna be like an animal lover, a cat lover. I'm not ever going to stop. I am going to try to save one cat at a time. At least I can make a difference. I can't save them all, but you know what? I can make a difference in one cat's life and that's good enough for me. Like that is, that's great. If I can make a difference in one cat's life, I am going to do it. So I, I'm not a cruel person. I love, um, I just love animals and my heart's always been that way. And so I have to help. Like, this is why I'm here is to help cats. That's, that's my belief. I'm here. This is my reason for being here. This is my purpose is to help animals. So, I mean, 
that's what I'm going to do. But anyways, the two kittens that I found, they were pretty bad off. And I knew that my friend's cat was going to be able to be, to nurse them back to health. And, um, she's got them now and apparently they're doing well, but they were, they were on their deathbed. They wouldn't have had long to live at all if I didn't intervene. Um, she just didn't bond with the two kittens and, you know, so there's that. So I thank my friend and she's starting a, she's trying to start uh, a TNR program in our area. So I hope all the best for her and everything. I hope she can do it because this area needs a lot of help and just registering our pets is not enough. It doesn't help reproduction of the pets. And you know what? A lot of these pets, you know, like, you know, people will take their pets out or like I've had cats show up here and I'm like, they got a collar on them. I will snap a picture. I will put it on Facebook. And then I realize, you know, the neighbors will be like, oh, that's 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 our cat. She lives like, you know, 2.5 miles down the street. And, you know, so I'm, you know, I never want to like, you know, come in contact with the pet and find out that, you know, someone's missing with that pet. Because I actually caught one once that I thought was one of ours because it looked identical. I was like, what? Charmy, why are you outside? And I, I caught this cat and I thought, well, this cat isn't a stray and this cat is looks exact almost like Charmy, but not exactly. And come to find out, I let it go because I thought, well, it's probably just a neighbor's cat. It's probably just, you know, wandering. It probably wants to drink water, maybe stopping for a snack of food. So I just let it go, not thinking and knowing that it was someone that actually had lost a pet my heart sank when I found that out because, you know, I like to reunite owners with their pets. It's just something I like to do. So, um, you know, if I can help someone find their animal, I, I'm right on it because the neighbor, he, his cat got out Ruby and it was, it was Halloween. And I was like, oh, no. Uh, so I went out because he came to me with tears in his eyes. He's in his 80s and he's my neighbor. Him and his wife are such sweet people. They are just sweet. They're the sweetest little old couple ever. Anyways, I went like I went blocks. I walked blocks on Halloween, even though I had lots to do. I took some time out and I looked for his cat. And then shortly after he told me, he goes, my cat came home. I was like, oh, thank God. Thank God. So, I mean, we have a lot of uh, things going on in this town and we need help. And there's no one to really help. And I and I swear to God, the state, this state, apparently I've been told they don't have as good as programs as other states. So when I contacted Freeborn County uh, Humane Society, they came, they're coming and they're going to help us get this stuff taken care of, which is great news because we needed the help. Because, you know, our vet's going to cost us $160 per cat. Well, I'm not going to tell you how many strays we have, but we have a lot. And that's going to cost us a fortune to get it done. So, I mean, thank you to uh, Freeborn uh, County for helping out. And also, I'd like to thank... Um, them because they introduced me to Camp Companions. Camp Companions is an organization that will help. They have this awesome TNR program and they do have, it's $30 a cat. That includes fixing shots. They'll get the rabies distemperment shot. They will get um, deworming, flea treatments, and a whole bunch of other things. And they also chip. They kind, they have to chip though. I don't like chipping because I don't like putting a foreign object into an animal. But they do have to chip. It's part of the program and because they have to keep track of how many cats and animals that they save. So that's kind of the deal that they have. But they will come out. They will help you trap them. They will help you do whatever. And since I'm having a hard time and 
bless my friend's heart. She's just starting out. She hasn't trapped a whole lot. She doesn't know what to do. Um, she does know what to do, but it's just a slow process. And my husband and I, we really need to get this under control like soon. So we are going to do that. And then they also help you find foster homes for like any kittens or if you have like animals or whatever that need it, they will try to find forever homes. They're tr they try really hard. Um, they are such awesome people and they keep in, they keep in contact with you. And if let's say one of your cats is like pregnant out there or whatever, then they wait till after the pregnancy after six weeks, because they have to have the kittens have to, you know, they have to nurse. They have to like have, you know, nurse their babies and things and they can't stress them out. So they wait you know, till at least six weeks and then they do a follow-up for you and then you go from there. So, I mean, the program is really awesome and they do their best to try and help people out. So I can't stress enough so of that, those programs. So if you're in need of help, try to call Camp Companions because they have been nothing but wonderful and they know other organizations and uh, things to help possibly adopt your animals out um since these are stray kittens that we do have they are i mean there's a there's a there's a certain time frame where you can socialize them so then they do have hope to find forever homes and i found one home for, we have five little kittens right now so um but three were born, uh, three actually, we have another three that was born the other day, but two of them went to my friend's place and she's going to keep those and adopt them out because they won't get, they won't be back here because they might not get along with the other kittens that we have. So that's kind of where, what I've been doing, like it's time consuming, all of this stuff, all these cats and things like that, but I've been doing it for good cause. And so I'm working on all of this stuff. Uh, it's just been a very busy time for me. <laughs> very, very busy time. Okay. Well, anyways, um, you know, this is, this is going to be a haul as well. Um, also, but I wanted to get into another thing that happened, which is kind of fun. Um, after all of the stress of all of this took place, I really needed a break. I like, I was like, I need a vacation. Like I just need a vacation. <laughs> I felt like I was actually going to go crazy. And so, um, after all this, because there's just been so much stuff going on and, Anyways, my husband, he took some time off. He had like three days of vacation because where his work is, they assign you vacation and that's when you have to take it. So um, he had three, three days, I think it was, or maybe he had a week off. I'm trying to remember. I think it was three days. I could be wrong, but I think it was three days. Anyways, so... He told, he asked me what I wanted to do with one of the days because uh, he likes to give me a day or so, you know, to do something that I would like to do. And he would come with me, which is nice because I don't like to go too far away from, from home here because, um, you know, you never know what would happen. And if he's not home because he's, you know, excuse me, at work. You never know what could happen and I don't I don't like putting myself into situations where I don't the unknown and I don't like driving at night. So like if I have to drive at night, I just am like I need to either stay overnight somewhere, which I try not to do because I do have cats to take care of. So otherwise I try to go early in the morning and get back here be before it gets dark. That's just the way I am right now. So I have anxiety and it's been pretty bad lately. So I don't try to go too far away from home, but it was a nice day. And I was like, you know what? I would really like to go see my friends and I would love to go shopping in Mankato, Minnesota. So my husband is nice enough to, he's like, well, line it up with your friends 
and we'll go and you know you can have a day and Mankato and I was like yes I'm like because I love to shop I'm a shop I'm a shopping girl for sure like I love to shop it's just so much fun and lately I've been on this like crystal rock type of you know things to collect so I had to like I was like I need to go shopping so I it was a beautiful day let me tell you I oh it couldn't have been like it was the best day I've had in a long time for sure because I just I got to see my friends and I got to meet their husbands because I haven't met their husbands before because well I just you know, we, we haven't, we've been so busy. I don't get to go to a whole lot of weddings. And another thing is I don't remember. I think there was something going on during one of my friend's weddings, but the other one just went to the courthouse and just got married there. So it wasn't like a big affair or anything, but I was so excited to see them because I hadn't seen them since we got married, which was probably about nine years ago. Well, it's going on nine years pretty soon. In August, August 31st is when uh, when my husband and I got married. So, um, but I was like, oh my God, like I haven't seen you in forever. I was so excited and so happy to see my friends and hang out and stuff. So what we did was we picked up my friend Heidi first at her house in the morning and then we went to go shopping. And we went to a few different places and some are going to be in this haul in this video. I know it's getting long, but um, there's going to be a haul in this video. Uh, anyways, so we went to uh, we went to Christie's Crystals. We went to Earthbound and we went to um, Black uh, Black Pearl Moon. Sorry, I'm I'm butchering but uh earthbound and black uh moon or black pearl wait why am i why am i butchering this black pearl moon that's that's the name of the shop we went to those and also we went to drummers drummers is a place like they sell a lot of flowers outside and stuff i ended up buying some lilies and some irises for my garden uh, right now, I think I have probably around over 300 types of uh, or different lilies in my garden. So I have a big collection of lilies and I think they reproduce too. So I think that I got more this year than what I did last year. But um, they all bloom at different times and things. So I don't really get a chance to. And that's another thing. I have been planting in my garden and transplanting. So that's another thing that's been keeping me busy as well. I forgot to mention that. But I just did, so that's great. But uh, yeah, so I've been transplanting lilies and, you know, other flowers that I've been finding. And um, I've been doing some walkway stuff because on our sidewalk, along our sidewalk, we have flowers and then we have like rocks and it's really cool. And so I've been doing a lot like a lot of that stuff lately. I may take you guys out there at some point and maybe show you some lilies possibly depending on the roofers. Now, the roofers are going to come and I don't know where they're going to, you know, put their thing. I hope it's not over the lily garden or the other garden because I want my plants to survive. I need those plants to survive. I can't just have them trampled. So hopefully they won't trample them because otherwise I'm going to be freaking upset because those flowers mean a lot to me. And, and uh, well, I spend, I spend quite a bit of money on flowers every year. So um, to have that many uh, lilies and stuff like that is going to be awesome this year. I'm looking forward to their blooms and whatnot. So I may take you out there and stuff like that. It gets buggy, so I don't like to do, you know, and it gets hot and muggy. So I don't like to do a whole lot of videos out there. But um, I possibly will take you out there maybe this year, depending on if they trample them or not. Because if they trample them, then they're not going to, they're not going to hold up. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I already kind of talked to them and said no, no in the flower gardens because I don't want 
anybody in the flower garden. So hopefully they won't. Um, so yeah, hopefully young construction will not trample my flowers. That's all I'm asking. Okay. And let's see, I'm, I'm going off my list again. So I'm looking and so, okay. So the day that we went shopping or whatever, we also went to visit some national parks and we went to a waterfall and we went to see some buffalo and stuff like that. And it was really cool. So um, we're going to go back there again, I think. I don't know when, though, but um, we will go back again. So that was that was fun. But me and my friend, um, we did some fun stuff like with the Christie's Crystals thing. They had grab bags there for like $20 and you never knew what you were going to get. So we kept going in and out of the store and I kept saying, just one more, just one more. <laughs> it was so much fun though. I really loved it. And we kept going out to the parking lot and opening and opening them up on my car so we could see what we got for like rocks and stuff like that. They were they were bundled up so it wasn't like scratching my car or anything. But oh my god, it was so much fun. We kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It was great. I just loved it. It was so much fun. Um But yeah, so that was fun all in itself. And then we went out for dinner. After we went shopping, wherever we met up with my friend Dawn and her husband Dan. And Dan and my husband got, got really, they got along quite well because they were talking about flannel shirts and things because they, they order these flannel shirts from the same place and stuff. Some of these shirts, they drop and they sell out like hotcakes. Like you can, you have to be on the ball in order to get them. And then they sell out and they're, they're like, they're basically based on like Freddy Cougar, like Nightmare Before Elm Street, like spooky type of things, which I freaking love. So it's, it's been an awesome thing. They had a Dracula one and they had some other ones. So it was kind of fun. Um, I can't remember the shirts, uh, brand or company. So I'm sorry about that, but if you guys want to know, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll try to remember to look it up for you guys um, and give you guys an answer. Okay, so now, I mean, we we had a blast. So it turned out to be a really awesome day. It was it was a nice sunny outside day and we left at like 830 in the morning and we got there about, you know, like it took us a couple of like an hour or so or something like that to get there. So I was, I had so much fun. We picked up Heidi and we spent the day with Heidi and we went to, um, we went to, uh, the park where we got married and we were able to look around there and drive through and we went up and we took walks and they had like this nice bench that you could sit on and it was so nice. Like it was a swinging type of bench and it's awesome. But that park has changed so much. It's called Sibley Park uh, in North Mankato. So, or is it Mankato? I keep forgetting if that park is in North Mankato or Mankato. But anyways, it's in Mankato. You'll find it. Just look it up. You'll get directions. But it was so much fun and I had a blast. And, um... You know, Heidi spent most of the day with me and then we met up with Dan and uh, Dawn for a uh, meal and we had so fun. We had so much fun. It was a bunch of laughs and I loved it. So thanks guys for making my day extra special and there was no drama, no nothing. It was just great fun and I I had a blast. That's all I can say. They, the, Those two girls are just awesome and I mean, I didn't have to tell them that they, you know, to bring their own money or anything. Because some of my friends in the past, I've had to pay for their stuff. And it's just not cool. And some of them don't show up or whatever, have ex a million excuses of why they can't. And it's always last minute and stuff. So thank you girls for so much for showing up and, you know, doing what real friends do. Like, you know... So I, I'm just so excited because it, it just, it helped me out and, um, and just let me know that this is how friends treat each other. Like, this is how this, this goes, you know, like I shouldn't have to say, 
We're not paying for your meal. I shouldn't have to like sit there and expect, you know, last minute, oh, I can't make it because this happened or this happened. I, I don't like those excuses. You're either going to be there or not, you know, and the thing of it is, is, you know, it was only a two week plan. Sometimes friends have done this to me where I've actually planned like a year in advance and then they don't show up. They'll tell, text me last minute, well, so-and-so's this or that or whatever. You know what? You told me, you promised me you would be here. And you know what? I actually poured my heart out and soul to you and told you how much it meant to me to have you come. And then all of a sudden, you text me that day saying, oh, I can't go because so-and-so this or that. You know what? then you didn't even want to be here bad enough. You didn't want to be my friend. I need friends that want to be here and want to spend time with me. I knew, you know, I, I poured my heart and soul out to this person. I actually like put all my eggs in the basket, all my effort and everything. And it just went to nothing. And it really ruined like my whole night. So, I mean... And then, you know, so when I cut people out of my life and I block them and stuff like that, you've earned it. Like, there is a reason for it and you've earned it. So I'm like, it breaks my heart because I didn't want to do it, but your actions speak a lot louder than any words. And so there is a problem. There is a problem and it is a problem. And I would never do that to someone, never, ever do that to somebody. Like, say you're going to be here for sure. And I poured my heart out saying how important it was. I was going through a depressed time at that point in time. And I really needed a friend to be here. I needed to laugh. I wanted one night, one night from this person. And I couldn't get it. I wanted to laugh. I wanted to be able to like, you know, have fun and let loose and drink some and just be able to just, you know, let some stress go and stuff like that, but it didn't happen. So, I mean, just know that if, like, we're friends and I've blocked you from all kinds of stuff, you've earned it. Like, you've just earned that. It's not like I go out and just go, oh, yeah, I'm going to block this person today and this person today and this person. Like, if you're real and you're going to want to be like my friend and everything, you're going to show up. You're going to, when you say you're going to show up, you're going to show up. I should be able to count on you to show up through things. So, I mean, that whole situation there, like ruined my whole night um, and things. So when the girls showed up and we went to Mankato and everything worked out just perfect, that was like the best day ever. I was so excited and so happy and Oh, I just love it because it's like those are real friends that do that. You know, you haven't seen them forever, but you feel like you can pick up right where you left off and and you can joke around and have fun. We had so many laughs that night. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. It was great. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Heidi. I appreciate you both so much. I love you guys both so much. You are, we are sisters forever. <laughs> like I said, we're sisters forever on Facebook. I said that. I posted like pictures of us with our hands and stuff like that. And and the three of us and everything. So it was cool. I, oh, that day was just so perfect and I needed it so much. So thank you guys so much for making the day perfect and being, you know, and being there when you said you were going to be there. Thank you for that, too. I appreciate it. I'm not used to that at all. I'm used to people just canceling plans at last minute and having excuses, a million excuses and shit. And that's just the way it is. So thanks, girls, for showing me t good time and everything. And we, we had a blast. We're going to do it again sometime, hopefully soon, and I'm excited about it. So, um, I can't, I'm looking forward to that and cannot wait. So, 
All right. So anyways, I want to show you guys uh, one of my good friends. She's actually made... I mean, I, I support all my friends' talents. If you have, like, an Etsy shop or you're, or you're going to, like, make something... Ooh, excuse me. If you're going to make something or if you're going to do this or that, um, you know, I hope that you will uh, tell me about it. Because I love supporting my friends' talents. And I will do videos. And this video is just going to be, for now, this is just going to be what I, um, what she gave me. She gave me two items here. And they were gifts for me. And she asked me what kind. She can do candles. Um, she does these candles. They're little ones. And they're really cute. And here is Willow Tree Healing and Massage. She does all this stuff. She actually went to school for this. And she's going to put up, she's going to be doing an Etsy shop soon. So, um, uh, I'm trying to support her. And she does, like, custom orders. So, if you want, like, a custom scent or something, talk to her and she can make you candles or whatever. But let's, um, she's, she gave me this and it, and, uh, oh my god. And here it is. It's got a wood wick in there and then there's, like, I think she put amethyst and some lavender and sage in there because that's what I asked. Oh, my God. You did an awesome job, Heidi. Oh, my God. This is the first time I... Well, I smelt it in the car, but I was so, like, you know, distracted by everything, like shopping and all. Oh, my God. This smells so good. Heidi... You did a fabulous job, girl, on this. Oh, my God. I love you, man. You rock. You are so talented. My, I'm waiting for my friend Dawn to also do some stuff. Um, She's going to be doing some sewing projects and stuff. I'm going to give you guys more info on this as soon as her shop gets up. I'm hoping to ask her some questions and stuff. We're supposed to get together like in a week or so, I think it is. So I will ask her, um, actually, yeah, I think it's, it's a week or so, but I will ask her about what she, um, how much these are going to, you know, go for and, you know, custom orders and stuff like that. And I will also ask her about a bunch of other stuff. I cannot get over this candle. It's so awesome. Heidi, you did such a great job. I love you, girl. And uh, I can't wait to see you and talk about some of this stuff so I can give uh, people... Um, I'll give people like, uh, your, you know, Etsy shop and all that stuff. So hopefully I can, she's just starting out. So she's trying to figure stuff out as we speak. And she also made me, um, this cleansing room spray. It's black moon water, sage, uh, frankincense essentials oil. There's sage in here and moon water. Ooh, black moon water. I haven't smelt this, guys. I wanted to do all this stuff while I was on camera. I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray a little bit of my uh, my room here. Oh my god. Oh, this stuff smells so good, Heidi. Oh my gosh. You are so talented, girl. Here's what the bottle looks like. And she's got a willow tree and massage thing. She actually has um, grad or like she's got diplomas and some of this stuff like massage and stuff like that. So if you're around the area like Mankato or, and uh, Eagle Lake area, she does massages and things like that. And here's what she, what it's what's in there, essential oils. And then she's also, this is the cleansing room spray. This is awesome, Heidi. You did such a great job. And I feel like my room is being cleansed as we speak. And I love it. Awesome sauce. That is freaking awesome. 
Heidi, you are talented, girl. You are so talented. Love you. Love you so much. Thank you so much, girl, for hooking me up. And I'm probably get, I'm gonna order more from you, girl. So uh, let me know when you get you know get your stuff, and I'll do a whole video about this. Okay. And the next thing, and like I said, I do like to support my friends and their dreams because it's important to support your friends, even if it's on this channel or whatever. You know, it's just like I love supporting people who have talent. And so, Heidi, you're one of these people that have talent. And I can't wait to see Dawn's stuff. Because Dawn has a lot of talent as well. She's going to be sewing some stuff. And she already showed me some things. She's going to send me some things when she gets done. She's actually kind of busy. She's going to go to a show and sell some of her stuff on at the show here. So, she's, bus she's busy making her, her inventory for the show, which I get. So, um... Okay, so now we're going to switch gears to this. We've got a haul from Earthbound. And I got, they sell these bags. I have like so many of these, but I love the bags. Not exactly like this, but there's different ones. But I got the kitty one, of course, kitty ones. And the bag, I think it goes, the proceeds go to something. And I can't remember what it was. Shame on me. But um, I just love Earthbound. It's a really good store. And it's in the River Hills Mall in Mankato. And you can also go online and buy stuff uh, from Earthbound.com. And so now we're going to get into the Earthbound.com bag. Okay, so I love collecting rocks and crystals. Uh, and it's like my new favorite thing to do. I love Halloween, rocks and crystals, cats. So that's kind of my thing. And spooky things like, you know, and witchy things, of course. Um, but this is my new fun thing. Anyways, we went there and I found the shelf. It's, it could be a shelf like it's got hangers. I'll show you the hangers on the back. Um, it's $29.95 for the shelf, for this little shelf. You could also like set it, you know, set it somewhere, whatever. I think, well, not really because it's like wobbly, but I have like these little, um, palette things. I'll show you guys when I do my room tour, but this is the crescent moon shelf and I love it. And you can put all your crystals in here. You can either hang it on the wall or you could probably just put it like, you know, down like this, like on a surface, kind of like this. And you can put your crystals in there and have them like right there. I'm also thinking because I have like these certain types of crate shelves or like wooden crates. And I could probably just set it up in one of them like this and it would probably work just perfect. So to display all my stones and things. But this is really cute. And it's uh, the $29.95, guys. $29.95. So, and then it's got the hangers on the back. That's right. I almost forgot. There's hangers. There's two hangers right here. So you can hang it up. And then also, if you really wanted to, uh, you could get one of those comb things. They have, like, the comb things, shelf things. And you might be able to either glue it on the back with super glue or you could possibly just, you know, do the screws too because I think there's screw holes in those. But I wouldn't screw too much into the wood because the wood doesn't seem like, I mean, the shelf is thick, but inside there isn't that much. So maybe I wouldn't do that, but I, I would glue it and then use these as well for extra, you know, hanging but isn't that cute guys i'm gonna just set that right there okay and then oh and the next thing here i okay so my wedding ring my my finger is a fluctuating so it fluctuates so much that my my rings don't fit on very well so i 
don't have a sizer thing because I guess there's like this sizer thing you can get, which I haven't really gotten a chance to get one yet. But if you can look, you can see this ring right here. Now this isn't my wedding ring. This is this is from another uh well part of this haul, but it's not from Earthbound. So but we're just doing Earthbound right now. But anyways, um I was looking for some rings so that I could um wear you know, a ring or whatever. And I got, I found this at, and I could probably take this off because it's, you can't see it very well. But here is the rings. And they have, they have rose quartz, amethyst. They have um, turquoise and howlite and uh, abiturin. I cannot see that, but I will just put it right here because I'm not very good at, pronouncing the words but and so you can switch this up in the middle with all these little stones you can switch it up in the ring I don't know exactly how to do it yet but I'll figure it out and um this rings is 1895 it's 1895 for these rings and you get like you get five of them in the set so you can switch them out. I thought that was just a really cute idea. And it, and I really love amethyst and rose quartz. I'm a sucker for I'm a sucker for both of those um ring. Um those stones. So I almost said rings for some reason, but Okay, I'm just gonna set you right here so that you don't fall out. And then I got this really cute necklace, guys. This necklace is so cute. It's it's silver. And I'll show you what what goes with it in a second. And it was $14.95. And I think this is so super cute. And I'll show you in a moment what they're for. This I bought for my husband cuz he loves turtles. So, um, if you ever see posts on my Facebook or whatever, I think turtles are cute too, but they're not my favorite thing, but they're, they're still cute and I love them. But, um, I love all animals, but cats are my thing, but this was one of his things and I bought this for him. I thought it was a cute little keychain and he could always carry it around and think of me. It's $9 and 95 cents for this little guy. I just thought he was super, super cute. So he might not use it like that because he might not want to mess it up. But hey, you know, um, and my receipt, my lovely receipt here. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I got a card for the other thing. That was supposed to go in that bag so I can keep them straight. Okay, and here is, um, uh, now I don't remember what's all in these. They wrapped them up for me very, very nicely at Earthbound. And the ladies in there, they're always so nice. So don't be afraid to go in there and like, you know, ask them questions and stuff because they'll be happy to answer them and they'll be happy to help you out. This is something I always wanted, and it's just so pretty. I do have other ones, but not like this one. But this one's a big clear quartz. Clear quartz is really awesome because it can be used in substitute to a lot of different crystals if you're working with them. So um, that's just something to keep in mind, and I just love it. It's so big and everything. And uh, it was $19.95. So it is not that cheap, but it is beautiful. And I love it so much. And it was calling to me. And she said that this crystal had been sitting on the shelf for a long time. And she was hoping somebody would pick it up. And I was just like, this is calling to me. Like when you go into crystal stores and stuff like that, and you're looking at crystals and rocks and things, they're going to call to you. And when and that's part of uh, the fun part about picking your own crystals and rocks and stuff out because they will call to you. Like certain rocks and crystals will call to you and 
that means that they're meant for you. So, um, and so this was meant for me. It was waiting for me on the shelf in Mankato. So I'm just going to set you right here. I am going to have to put this stuff away, <laughs> which is fine by me. Okay. Now the next thing here is wrapped up as well. It's like Christmas. I have no clue. I cannot remember because this was like a couple weeks ago that I bought this stuff. So I have no clue. Like, I can't remember what I bought. <laughs> but it was a fun day and it was supposed to be fun. So, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So this one is another crystal clear quartz. And look at how beautiful it is. This is what I love collecting, guys. And you know what? I forgot. I will do it in my next one, my next uh, haul. My husband gave me a really pretty rock. Uh, he found it at like noon or something like that. He was walking. He works for the railroad. So he was walking along the tracks and he found this really beautiful rock. It's one of my favorite rocks I've I've seen. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I'll have to show it to you in my next video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And hit that subscription bell because it's going to tell you when I upload new videos. <laughs> so I'm hoping you guys will tune in. But isn't this a beautiful rock? Crystal, it's so it shines so much. And I, I'm sorry that this video is getting to be a long video. But um, there's just so much. There was so much to talk about and get caught up with. And and now I'm showing you different things and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to set that right there. Okay. All right. So what's next? What is next, Funky? Funky's trying to steal my, pot, my spot. She went right behind me. <laughs> All right, here we go. The next one that's wrapped up. Let's do the wrapping up. I do not know what I bought. I can't remember. All I know is that I can't wait to put these on my shelves in here. Because I'm doing all... I have a lot of different things in here. So I'm excited to show you guys. And... When the stuff comes in for my room tour, I will gladly show you guys what's been going on in my room. Because I've done a lot in here. And it's nice to have a recording room and stuff and have it be me. And yeah, sometimes I take naps in here. Sometimes I watch TV and I fall asleep and it's all good, you know. Here we go. Here's the next thing. Oh, did I tell you the price on that crystal? I don't think I did. Hang on a second. I forgot about that. Well, that's odd. There's no price on it. There's no price on you. Okay. Well, let's see if I can find my receipt then. Here it is. Here's the receipt. I will try to find the price for you guys on that. Um, let's see here. Okay, it said quartz. Uh, I think this is it. The quartz cluster was $24.95. So there you go. It's $24.95. And here we've got a hand, which I thought was really cool. And it's got a moon and sun, which I love the crescent moon. And I'm into the suns as well because I think it's really neat and cute. And... Um, I'm going to be putting this somewhere cool in my room. I I actually have another hand like this, but it's not exactly like this. I got it for around Halloween time, so and it's in my room here. So this will be in a different shelf and stuff. You can see the back side. It's just like a plain hand with this, but then the palm has all of this on it. Whew. I'm sorry, excuse me. Getting a little tired. 
but isn't this beautiful? And this is $14.95, so $14.95 from Earthbound, guys. So if you want to get yourself one, it's at Earthbound. And I'm going to end up having to put this over here. Right here, I think. Because I'm keeping my receipt close. Because just in case there's not, um, there's another thing without price on it, I can just let you guys know how much it was. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this, too. This is supposed to be a goddess incense burner thing. But I really wanted the goddess simple. I wanted the sign and stuff like that. Um, when you see my room, you'll know why. Because I just, I love this type of stuff. So I was thinking about setting it up like this. But it is an incense burner and it's got like a little hole right there. And this is $12.95. That's the price on that. And um, I just think this is so cute and everything. Very, very cute. And I don't really know what it's made out of. I want to say it's like made out of ceramic or maybe, uh, maybe a plastic or something. I'm not really sure. Um... Okay, so now we're getting down to the smaller things. And so, um, with the bags, if you purchase so many stones, you get, like, a free bag. So, there was two different types of bags. There was a white, like, an off-white bag. And I can't remember what it said, but then there's also this really beautiful crystal on the black, on a black velvet bag. And so, I got this one instead because I really, really loved I love the pattern. And I actually got two of these types of bags. I could have got the other ones too. And the bag, for the bag itself, I think there's a, it's $2.95, but I got it for free because I picked up some stones in their box things, which I'm trying to collect more stones now. Look at how beautiful this stone is. And it's got like a lot of sparkle on it and stuff. I really loved it. So, I picked this one out, and I can't remember what it was now. Um, I have, like, I'm going to download. My friend Heidi's got this on her phone. She's got a crystal and rock identification thing where you can just take a picture of it, and I'll tell you the name of it and uh, about it and stuff. So I am going to definitely be downloading that onto my phone. But... I thought this was really pretty. It's got a light purple lavender color. It's got white and then it's got some uh, some gray and stuff in it. I just thought this was a really pretty rock. I haven't seen anything like it. So I was like, I need this one. <laughs> so that's going to go on my rock thing. And then we have some more. I'm going to take them all out of the bag so that I can show you guys. Okay, so for the next ones, we've got these like little things like this and you can tell that they're like, you know, kind of uh, you know, smooth and they're they're thin and they're round and everything. This one's amethyst, my favorite. This is like my one of my favorite stones out of all the crystals and rocks that I could get. It, this is like my the favorite one that I love. I just love amethyst. And it goes into this locket that I showed you um, earlier in the video. And it's got a little snap thing. And you can just pull it back and you put it inside here. So you can wear whatever stone you want to wear. And you, of course, put it like this, you know, so it'll be on you. And then, hang on, I can, I can attach it up here. I'll attach. It's not that easy to do. And Punky is purring behind me. <laughs> Her vibrations is awesome. <laughs> purring vibrations. 
And see, this is what it looks like when it's inside the locket thing. So you can switch them out. So like, let's say you need like some other stones that you want that day. You can switch them out. But isn't that cute? And so I got amethyst. I got obsidian. And it's and it goes in the locket as well. It's real thin and everything. It's really pretty. And I got um, clear quartz, of course, which is really that. This one's awesome too, as well. And I got this one. I love blue sandstone. I've never seen anything like this, except for I do have a. Um, one that glitters like it this doesn't e the camera's not even picking up on all well maybe it is now it is see how glittery that is I I saw that and I was like this is so pretty I have uh I believe it's like a green one of these and it's like round it's like uh heart shaped and man does it sparkle it's it's black and then it's got like the like a green color in it it's really pretty so, um, this is the blue sandstone and I want to think I bought another one because I'm thinking, well, we'll get into that in a second here. And I don't know how much these were. Let me check my list thing here to see where I can find it. Um... Okay, it's called the Worry Stone, uh, and it's that was the blue sandstone. It was four dollars or no five dollars and ninety five cents for those, and that's for the um the the Worry Stone Obsidian, the Worry Stone of Clear Quartz, the Worry Stone of Blue Sandstone, and the Worry Stone of Obsidian. And the, uh, the Worry Stone of Amethyst. And then for the Rough Stone Fluorite one, it was $5.95. For the Rough Stone Lilac Jasper, I, this probably is the Lilac Jasper then. This one was uh, $4.95. So, I mean, their rocks are really reasonable there if you want to, you know, pick out some rocks and things. And this one is a tiger's eye. And I picked that out because I was like, oh, I don't hardly have any tiger's eye stuff. So I got some, which is really, really pretty. And I'm thinking that that one was like uh, $3 and... 95 cents I think if I remember correctly so that wasn't that bad for the stone and then I got this one which I believe this is a fluorite one and I love the I like green a lot lately so I've been trying to collect some green stuff because well my room is you guys will see what I'm talking about. I added a little bit of touch of green in here, and um, I just love it so much. So I had to buy some of this, and this is beautiful. It's just like a fluorite. And I believe this one was like $3 or 4 something. Maybe it was like $4.95, I think. It's hard to tell, like, because... Some of my receipt is rubbed off. Okay, this was pro this was fluorite. It's five dollars and ninety-five cents. So five dollars and ninety-five cents for that one. And then for this one right here, this is rose quartz. I love rose quartz because anybody knows it's it's love and passion and all that good stuff. So I love it. And I wanted some more raw stuff. I have a couple in my room already, but I wanted some more to add to my collection. So I got really pretty rose quartz. And this one was, let's see, how much was the rose quartz? 
uh, rough stone rose quartz, four dollars and ninety five cents. So it's not that bad for, you know, you're getting a good sized one there. And then I got, oh yeah, I bought another crystal clear quartz. You can never have too many crystal clear quartz. So, um, because like I said, if you're working with the crystals and things, these can substitute for anything, like any color or anything that you really could use it for. So this is actually good to have. Like it's, it's a very good thing to have and it's just beautiful. And it says it's a rough stone, uh, clear quartz. This was, uh, $5 and 95 cents. So there's the price tag on that, and it's really pretty. I love I love collecting these. Okay, so um, I guess I didn't get the rose quartz. I thought I might have, but maybe I didn't for the necklace thing. But that's okay because I'm going back there soon. So I can just pick it up when I go. And that's going to be awesome sauce. Oh, wait, 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 there's more. Oh, no, there isn't. <laughs> I tricked myself. Okay, so we're going to get on to the next one as soon as I put my stones away. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you this one. I got another one, another uh, little stone there. It's a tiger's eye stone. I'm going to put these guys back so they don't get broken because, well, I don't want them broken. That would not be good. Where did my rose quartz go? I don't know where my rose quartz went. Oh, here it is. I'm just going to set you in here. You can go right there for now. Alrighty then. Okay. Let's see. I want to make sure. Oh, yes. And I got a ring. I think this was a men's ring, they called it or whatever it was, but it was cute and I bought it because I like the moons and I love the stars and stuff on it. I love crescent moons. So I got this men's ring and I think it was like around 20 bucks. So um, I wanted to wear it on this finger too because. Well, like I said, my fingers, they, they tend to shrink up and then they tend to flare up. It's like, I never know what day I'm going to have. So I bought a bunch of different types of jewelry for my, for my ring finger, since my wedding ring will not work anymore. I swear if I put it on, it would get stuck. So I don't want to do that. And I've been not really wearing a red, a wedding ring around very much because I didn't want to drop it in the toilet or something like that because it's so loose. Like if it gets wet at all, and I'm not saying like my hand would get wet there, but my hand would get wet washing my hands and then it's going to drop down the sink. And I don't want to drop it down the toilet as well because like I said, when my fingers, when my fingers swell up, I mean, and then unswell. Look at how big that ring, the ring is. Now, this isn't my wedding ring. This is a different type of ring, which I will show you. Um, I'm going to do my next haul now. Now, stay tuned for the rest of the haul from that day because um, I am going to do this part of the haul next. And then I have to do another, I'm going to be doing another video. So... Right after I get done with this video, I'll be doing um, the Christie's Crystals video because I got a lot of stuff from there. Okay, so here is a cute little shop I didn't know about. Heidi, my friend, told me about. And I love this shop. It had so many nice little things there. And um, it's called Black Pearl Moon. And I love it. Look at that logo. That logo is very... I love that logo. That's a very awesome logo. And they did have a card. And I did say that I was going to be doing a video on them. So I must have picked up two cards. But here's the Black Pearl uh, Moon card. 
And this was also found in the River Hills Mall. And what they what they have is crystals, crystal and stone jewelry, crystals, candles, handmade bath and body, and much more. And um, the people that do it is their names is Tracy and Paul Cummins, and their phone numbers on the card. And uh, there's a there's a Etsy shop they have, and they also have Black Pearl Moon at G gmail.com which i will show you the phone number and everything so if you want to contact them you can whoops my finger was in the way there but there is their card guys so if you ever want a particular crystal and stuff like that i'm sure they'll be able to help you find it and be able to um give it to you and order stuff so um there's that and there's their beautiful card. I love their cards. Their cards are cute. Anyways, this video is getting really long. And I'm sorry. I apologize for the long video. But um, there was so much going on. And I wanted to get it all into one video. So this is... <laughs> it's just... Yeah, this is crazy. Anyways. Okay, so my very first thing I found amongst their shelves. They have a lot of cute little things on their shelves. They're located in the River Hills Mall in the middle because they have like a kiosk type of thing. So um, look for them like in between. Uh, I can't remember where they were, they were located exactly in the mall, but you guys will find them. Trust me if you go to the River Hills Mall in Mankato. Anyways, um, these, I found these on the shelf. Not everybody knows that I love cats. I wanted to find a crystal for each one of my kitties so I can put it on the shelf. Um, I think this is really cute. This one in particular is Charm. And it's for Charmy, my kitty. So I bought this one. And isn't this cute, guys? It's really not catching the detail as much as, like, you know, holding it in my hand. But it's a cute little kitty. I thought that was cute. And um and I found a bunch of others there too. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get all these. <laughs> so I ended up buying quite a few. This one's going to be for Punky, the Punky Monkey. Very very cute. And look at the detail on it. I am so going to be setting these on my shelves because they are so, so very cute. And this one here is going to be for Mooney. And then I have to find, I'm going to find another one for my, for Corsica because I have to get another, uh, I want a pure white one for Corsica if I could find one. Here's for Mooney, the moon pie. Very, very cute. And I loved them. I was like, oh my God, they have kitties, crystal kitties. They're so very cute. Very, very cute. And they were $14 a piece. So if you want a kitty, they're $14 a piece at Black Pearl Moon. And this one was $14 too for Punky Monkey. <laughs> and this one, I take it was $14 too, but they don't have a price tag on that one. But very, very cute. I love them. They are so cute. And my husband got a turtle from there, but I didn't grab it downstairs. I forgot. But there, it was really, really cute. Okay. Now, this here, I'm not 100% sure what's in here. I can't remember what I bought. <laughs> they wrap up stuff very well, guys. So, and uh, they're very, very nice. And I love, I loved shopping there. It was a lot of fun. It was a fun experience. Here is what I got. Isn't this beautiful? 
I was always looking for one of these and I wanted a little tower thing and I found one. So I'm excited to put this on my shelf and display it in here. And it's cellulite and it was $10. So it was, uh, it's fairly reasonable priced. I love it so much. So pretty. I want to, I really want to go back there again. Oh, my nose is itchy. Sorry, guys. Oh, this is one of my favorite, favorite scents in my whole entire life. And it's just like Heidi's stuff. Oh, I love this stuff so much. I got a bundle and it has lavender and sage in it. And oh my God, does it smell so good. You're supposed to burn this stuff and everything, but this is like really pretty. I think I'm just going to set it on a shelf and let it just sit there because, God, it smells good. And it's wrapped up in this pretty purple. I just love it. It was $9 for the bundle. I love it, though. It smells so good. I love lavender and sage together, so it was perfect. And... It's purple, so why not? You know what I mean? Like it would go it goes with the layer, so and what I'm doing right now. God, I wish I could send this stuff right through the thing for you. Cause it smells so so good. So guys, check check this shop out when you get a chance. I also bought this ring. And I think it was $30. And this one is got, it's got a um, crystal quartz, clear quartz in it. And it's silver based. It's so beautiful. I love it. And then I also bought this from them. It's a black obsidian uh, bracelet. And I want to say that was $30 as well. And then this is my old bracelet. I had an amethyst one. And I had this one on when I went shopping there too. And that one was from um, uh, Earthbound. And I can't remember how much I paid for it. But I love my little bracelets. And then I also got this necklace from Earthbound too a while back. And I can't remember how much it is. This is an amethyst so pretty i love i love amethyst oh yeah um the the bracelet came with this it was 14 dollars for the bracelet i'm sorry 30 for the ring and then it was 14 dollars for the bracelet and it was black turin ah, i can't even say it i'm butchering the name but i'm just gonna put it on there for you and uh, basically, it's a uh, master protector, cleansing, grounding, and banishes negativity, which I need. I need this so much because I'm so sick of negativity. <laughs> and then we have this, which is the shop again with the uh, information on it and stuff. So if you guys are in Mankato, Minnesota, check these shops out, Earthbound and uh, Black pearl moon um they are so good like these shops are just so good and and uh the prices aren't that bad you know so go check them out and uh they're they're both found in the river hills mall and stay tuned because pretty soon you guys will get my room tour and you also get um you also get a haul well, first, it'll be a haul for Christie's Crystals next. I had to do the own, her own, their own video for that shopping haul because it's big. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, take care. Be nice to each other. Stay spooky. And I'll see you next time on Jennifer's Layer. Thank you guys to all my subscribers. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell, subscription bell so that you can get notifications of when I um, upload new videos for you guys. And I hope everybody takes care, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time on Jennifer's Lair. 
Thanks for watching, guys, if you lasted this long. Bye!